Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's B. Um, real quick cooking tip this morning. I uh, Eggs are probably one of my biggest indulgences. I love the taste of eggs, and I don't care what people tell you. The egg beaters just are not a good substitute. I mean, they work in a pinch, and I eat them all the time, but sometimes I get up in the morning, and I just want scrambled eggs, right? But the problem with eggs is they've got a lot of fat in them. And here, I'll show you. Watch. I, I pulled this up on the computer. Um... This is uh, the nutritional information for a whole egg, all right? 90 calories, you can see here, which isn't incredibly bad, but you're only talking about one egg. And 63 of those calories come from fat. Lots and lots and lots and lots of fat. The problem is, look at the protein, man. They're really packed in protein, so you want to kind of hang on to that. Well, what we do is we're going to separate some of them. If you look at the nutritional information for the egg white, there's almost no calories in it. It's because all the yolk is where all the fat and the calories are. And you still get a pretty good amount of protein. So what I do is I give me a little bowl and I separate. Uh, this is three eggs, okay? Two yolks in here that I can use for, you know, a savion or carbonara for dinner or something. You can keep them for a little bit in the refrigerator. Uh, and then I just have one whole egg and two egg whites and I'll, I'll beat the hell out of those and, and scramble them just like they were anything else. The egg, white, the egg yolk also kind of helps keep the egg whites together. And you don't use, lose that uh, that egg flavor. So anyway, that is it. That's my cooking tip for the day. I'm going to uh, make some breakfast. So uh, make sure you guys thumbs up. Don't thumbs down. Subscribe. Tell your friends. And uh, we'll see you on Monday when we check in.